Well, it's about 14 minutes uh, past 10 and the weather doesn't look too flash. Uh, I'm going to strip another microwave. This is my wasp zapper. I'll do a few mods on it. The sky looks pretty grim for my deck. Uh, we'll see how we go. I feel already some spitting of the grain. So, uh, yeah, I'm just doing a small little mods on my wasp zapper device. So this is just uh, a double ballast, 250VA, that's a 100VA, so it's 350 in series with uh, two de-shunted uh, mods. That means the blocks in the middle, the metal blocks, or magnetic shunts between the coils are being removed. And I put pilot lights on there, two LEDs, I'm just working on it at the moment. Just fiddling around with some capacitors. And I'm going to step a microwave shortly and I'll show what parts uh, are quite useful to uh, use. So I found this one in the skip. I'm doing pretty good. Two microwaves over the last week. And um, it is the normal one with a uh, normal device in it. Cascade, 1500 watt, 1100 watts. I'm going to rip the thing apart and see if the Get the good parts. Okay, let's get to work. The rain is getting closer. Um, got the device on its side, and I'm gonna put uh, the camera here on the counter microwave device. Important the inverter ones are a waste of time. Good idea is to put a couple of these on because the edges are very sharp on these metal parts. A couple of gloves save you cutting your hands. Manufacturers are flipping pain in the butt. They think they're smart, they're not. They're just a bunch of idiots. Another hidden one here. The whole device, take this thing out, normally slides off. So, here in the microwave. Normally, the lead is already cut, got rid of that. The power supply, that's usually a filter. Turning on mains and harmonics, then you've got the magnet one here, and the power. Transformator is uh, 230 to 40 volts in, 2200 volts out. Capacitor, resonance circuit, there is a fuse in here. Diet, these sometimes can store a charge, so you be careful with that. The cooling fan, and uh, there's a Shaded pole motors handy to have. You've got the control board, sometimes you can use the timer if it still works. Uh, micro switches, couple of micro switches. Use your light, light bulb in here somewhere for the cabinet lighting. Oh, yeah, that's here. The light bulb, it's all usable. What you don't, you just chuck it out. And I nearly forgot, there's also a little uh, turntable motor in here. At least a grill here, we'll show that later. I'll take this thing apart. <coughs> I don't use the wiring. Thermal switch as well. Got all this crap clear. Thing to be cautious of is uh, there's beryllium in here. It's, I think it's gauze. It's, it's uh, brass or some other stuff, but there's barely in them here. I normally take these two magnets out, magnet one, magnet two. You could wear a face mask if you're worried about uh, the dust, and it yields in a couple of these very good, powerful magnets that can be used for experiments. So that's the so called magnetron. 
cooling fans. Yeah, <clears throat> that's about on that. And the best part is uh, this transformateur. That is the device we really want. Well, look how thin these wires are. They used to be a lot thicker in the older microwaves. This is all very tiny. We made it cost. Make it as cheap as possible. Munch, one go. Amazing. Transformateurs normally got four screws, just in the base plate of the microwave itself. Easy to remove. There you go, this is a nice grunty transformateur. Good size. As I said on the wasp zapper, we've got these shunts. They cause a high resistance path. So the shunts are these things here. These eliminations. And then the other side too. So if you leave those in, the transformer has higher leakage, same as a welding transformateur when you apply a shunt to reduce the current. If you knock them out, the transformer has a lot more power, but it will go up and smoke very quickly, so you need to limit the current. So for the wasp zapper, I just use a couple of ballasts, street light ballasts. Um, you could also use the fluorescent ballasts. They're smaller in rating, so you may need to put a couple of 80 watts in parallel to get the current you would desire for your wasp zapper. Acetar. Good to keep. High voltage diet. I rate it about two or three kilo It's quite handy to have as well. There we go. Capacitor and you got a clamp on it. Uh, wrong way around. Um, one microfarad, 2100 volts. One microfarad, 2100 volts. 2.1 kV. Made in China Land. I see if we can salvage the timer board in one piece. You can sometimes get a nice little clock out of it. Oh, they need all these buttons as well. Then the board we dispose of. Actually, it's good to have your spare magnet. Put the screws on there so they don't end up in your house or in your foot or in the driveway or whatever. The good thing is these boards they yield a little transformateur, usually 230 volts to 18 volts or something like that. I've used some of those successfully in rerunning old electrical clocks. Uh, got a video of this equity clock where I used one of those transformateurs. And I run the clock instead of 230 because the coal had burnt out uh, on uh, 48 volts, or no less, sorry 18 volts. So you've got this whole board here. A lot of items are not populated, so this was obviously a cheaper version microwave. Oh, well, I see a couple of items could have gone in there, so yeah, all good. Uh, cooling fan motor is usually only one screw and it's usually that thin. One screw, you've got two clips here. Comes out easy. There we go. Shaded pole motor. Good for cooling fan, you use for anything. To 
get this motor out, those little things, they need to be punched out. I normally do this way. Little motor, the little Senko turntable motor. They're normally uh, three, four, five revs per minute. And the rest of this device, I don't need anymore. I don't need this anymore. But this is closed off. I'm going to go on the switch. I'm going to go to the garden for now. Fantastic. I'm going to get my items back inside. It's getting too wet. In summary, out of the microwave uh, oven timer board, might be usable, cooling fan, synchronous motor, capacitor, half of diode, lamp maybe, magnetron, usually you have two good magnets in there, a couple of micro switches, most important, I nearly forgot, I'll put it here already, the transformator. I want to keep the dry and start it just raining briefly. This is a nice grunty one, 1100 watts. And always all it was under an hour. And I was not in a rush to get this thing disassembled. Thanks for watching.